Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike. Today I'm showing you a pretty cool app on the App Store. It's from Google. It's called Gboard. Now what this will do is it'll change up the stock keyboard on your iOS device. Now what does that mean? Well, when you're in uh, the messaging app, for example, when you're typing something, the stock keyboard that shows up is this regular Apple keyboard and it doesn't have much functionality built in. But what if you want to get some more functionality and some more features on your keyboard? Well, luckily Apple opened up third party keyboards in iOS 8 to developers. So now you can go into the App Store and download any kind of third party keyboard you want. And Gboard is one of those third party keyboards. So once you go ahead and download it, it'll be on your device right here. Uh, you don't actually have to open up the app, just go into settings, scroll down to general, click on keyboard right there, click on keyboards, click add new keyboard and choose Gboard. And then click on it one more time and click allow full access. And then go back and click edit and then drag Gboard to the top. Uh, this is just so uh, when iOS brings up the keyboard, uh, Gboard will be the first one that it brings up. And now once we jump into messages, you should see that the stock keyboard is now Gboard. It looks very similar to the uh, built-in iOS keyboard, except it does have a lot more functionality. So one, it has Google built right in. So before, let's say you were texting somebody and you wanted to send them a picture of a dog. Uh, you'd have to jump into Safari, do a Google search for dog, copy that image, and then send it off. Well, with Gboard, it's a lot easier. We can just click this Google icon, and then I have dog already here from my previous searches. We can click the image icon, and then we have images of dogs right here. And if we wanna send one, we can just click it. Now it's copied, go into the message thread, and then paste it, and then that image is right there. It's so much easier uh, than actually going into Safari because it has Google built right in. But one of my favorite features of this keyboard is actually swipe typing. Now, what is swipe typing? Uh, well, actually, this feature was uh, kind of an old feature that was on Android phones back in the day, and it allows you to actually put in words by actually uh, not removing your finger from the keyboard. You can actually swipe from letter to letter, and the phone will predict what words you want to input. So if I want to type in hello, I can drag from the letters and uh, it predicts that I want to put in hello. Uh, the prediction is very good. Uh, even if you drag over uh, a few wrong letters, it'll still guess what word you want to put in. So you can type really fast with this actually, and uh, it'll put the space in for you. So if you just keep type, if you just keep swiping, uh, it'll actually put the spaces between the letters for you, uh, between the words for you. So that's really good. And uh, it's just very convenient for typing out long, long emails or long text messages. So uh, Gboard, probably the best keyboard that you can put on your iPhone right now. I feel Apple should add some similar functionality to theirs just because it's lacking in so many areas. Uh, with Google built right in and with this uh, swipe feature built right in, uh, it really makes this a full-fledged uh, great option for a keyboard and uh, it really makes it competitive for other uh, third-party keyboards on the App Store. So I'll have a link down below to uh, go download Gboard on the App Store. Like I said, it's free, so go try it and tell me if you like it in the comments below. My name is Mike, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.